Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide taken from a case of acute on chronic cholecystitis. So we're looking at three pieces of the gallbladder wall and I'm first going to focus on this piece here and then subsequently we will move our attention to this piece which shows most of the features of acute cholecystitis. Let's start with this piece and we can see that this is the mucosal surface. So here is the luminal surface of the gallbladder. We have the layers which are the mucosa with the lamina propria, the muscle layer and the subserosa. Let's take a closer look at the mucosa and we can see that there is this nice arrangement of simple columnar biliary epithelium. Within the lamina propria, there are areas of chronic inflammatory infiltrates and these include lymphocytes, as you can see here, lymphocytes and also occasional larger plasma cells. Here we also see scattered macrophages which have much more abundant cytoplasm. These chronic inflammatory infiltrates extend into the muscle layer and also focally into the subserosa. The subserosal tissue shows increased pinker areas, which is composed of collagen, and you can see this more clearly here with these pink wavy collagen fibers, and this is evidence of some degree of fibrosis in the subserosal tissue. So these here are the features of chronic cholecystitis. And let's move on to this piece where at low magnification, there are a lot of these very reddish areas. So again, let's orientate ourselves. This is the mucosa. So this is the luminal surface. Here is the muscle layer and this is the subserosa. Let's first look at the mucosa. And while the mucosa is intact here, as we move along, we can see in some areas that it is denuded or it's no longer seen. And especially in this area, we can actually see some acute ulcer exudates with a lot of fibrin, some hemorrhage with red blood cells that have escaped from the blood vessels. And we also see some mixed inflammatory cells. So there is evidence of mucosal ulceration. If we look at the lamina propria, we can see that it is expanded and the reason why it is broader and more expanded is because there is edema within the mucosa and you can also see that there are some paler spaces in between the cells in the muscle layer as well as in the subserosa. So there is edema within the mucosa and the wall of the gallbladder. In addition, we can also appreciate that some of the vessels in the wall appear to be quite congested and they are packed with red blood cells. And in fact, in this area, the red blood cells have actually escaped from the blood vessels. And of course, this is an area of hemorrhage. We can also see evidence of hemorrhage in this region where there's a lot of red blood cells outside blood vessels, and these are accompanied by congested blood vessels. So the appearance is best appreciated on low magnification, where we can see this is the area of mucosal ulceration. Here is the area of hemorrhage and here as well. And that the wall is very much thickened and a bit pale in some areas. And this is due to edema. So the features of acute cholecystitis actually include edema of the gallbladder wall, congestion, hemorrhage, and mucosal erosions or sometimes ulceration, as you can see here. Interestingly, acute inflammation is not necessary for the diagnosis of acute cholecystitis, and it is not always present. If there is a secondary bacterial infection, then we are more likely to see acute inflammatory cells. Hence, in summary, this is an example of acute on chronic cholecystitis, we have some features of chronic cholecystitis, including the presence of 
patchy chronic inflammatory infiltrates in the gallbladder mucosa and the gallbladder wall, and also some subserosal fibrosis. And we have the features of acute cholecystitis, including mucosal ulceration, congestion of the gallbladder wall, hemorrhage, and also mural edema. Thank you.